right, come, come on, on you can do it, you come can on, do it. Hurts. We'll need a ride. Mine's getting some body work done to it. All right, don't trip. The Blood Feather Triad have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Okay, so what's all this talk of business? Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Now, where's that loose cobble? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, uh, checking the, uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. This way. <laughs> hey, what's with all these people? Where they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Follow me. What's wrong? You lost? You need a hand? No, no. I was just, you know, getting the feel of the place. Stick close. Ah, we're here. This way. Hey, the Triads must have vengeance! ran away. Yeah? You having fun yet? Such a buster now, huh? Hell, Sewers, that was Don't a sniper bullet! Ain't that a surprise? I got a gun. In the car, Welcome quick! to America, asshole! We got more company. You drive. I'll send them back to the sewers. I'd do him right now. Yeah, me too. If you were involved. You may not know, but this happens to every man at least twice a day. If you're bald, you might as well kiss sex goodbye. Even if you're 16 and have a full head of hair, women can tell if you're going to go bald. And that spells trouble. Let's face it, women hate bald men. Except basketball players. What causes baldness? Don't take this the wrong way. But the explanation may be downstairs. It's bald, and it wants you to be too. Through a partially scientific study, doctors have determined that an abundance of testosterone causes baldness. And let's Thanks, be honest, Thomas. who needs testosterone? Now science brings you Castrodon. Castrodon goes to the glands that produce testosterone and kills them, protecting your hair and saving your sex life. Within a few days, you'll notice a big difference. You'll begin to look and feel different. If you're willing to do anything to stop the unspeakable from happening to you, take Castrodon. Oh, so Remember, baldness? is loneliness. May impair driving time, keeping map reading and home improvement skills. Castrodon may also cause periodic moodiness, retail addiction, face painting, and menstruation. Hey, handsome. Five, baby. So nice. Ah, the breeze. You got a red one? Uh, I believe no. You can't feel it. You I'm really mashed in here. <laughs> I have not been this man. Keep driving! I'll take care of these murderers! I'm his nature by hanging out with other people who have dropped out of work. Now we have a real record. That looks like the last of them. Thank you, Carl. You saved me from having to kill them all myself. Okay, let's get back to my place.
A token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Hey, Woozy, my man. What's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shuk Fu, Ram Fa Lee. He heads the Red Gecko Tongue on the West Coast. How you doing? Yeah. Mm. Ah Ah Kung has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. There may be some trouble ahead. The Shifu would like a package retrieved. A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> he is Triad? A mountain boy? No, a personal friend of mine. And less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. only.
Give me that fucking feel. so confused it don't take much that's what my agent told me what a beautiful record this is cf Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! He's going for my transmitters! If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counter-attack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock.
Carl. We can't lose another transmitter. Berkeley's going to the last transmitter. You've got to stop those planes, Carl. As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. You're in my goddamn way! Where are you taking me? Hey, homie, where are you from? My team is in Somebody gonna be mad at you for screwing up their ride.